What's up everybody? I'm stuck up here in the office. It's freezing cold, but today I wanted to switch the video up a little bit. I wanted to take you on a trip with probably one of the best, best entrepreneurs I know. Because in today's age, we're all told you gotta go to school, you gotta go get a job, but some of us work for ourselves like moi and the guy that sits over there and some of the little hustlers around town and they do pretty good at it. See, this is the same type mindset that got us these two. This one and this one. It's kind of a big deal. It takes a lot of work, a lot of self-study and it can be done. Like I want you guys that may be going through a hard time right now, especially with the economy the way it is, that if you put your mind to it, you can pick up a side hustle that might become your main hustle. So I want to take you on a little trip on how my buddy makes a thousand extra dollars a week off of an old trailer he just came about in the weirdest way and he never wanted to buy a new truck until he figured out a way to make the payment on an asset and that's what he's done and here's the story you gotta listen to it because this might change one person's life that's out there you guys out there and that's all that really matters to me because as an entrepreneur i wish somebody would let me know these things years ago here we go here he is. What up? <laughs> this is a cool story. We gotta, we gotta go ride with him. I gotta show you how you do this. Check it out. Where are we going? Hey man, we gotta deliver a load of dirt and then we're gonna head back out to the dirt pit, get one more and bring it back. We are going to do a hat trick plus one today. Four loads, count them, that's right, four loads. <laughs> what other kind of stuff do you haul around in this thing? Well, we will actually haul building materials. We've hauled sod. We have hauled shingles, sheetrock, um, many kitchen remodels that we threw all the cabinets in it. Um, I've hauled gravel, I've hauled fill dirt. Um, so pretty much anything you can fit in there. That's right. Whatever they'll pay for, I'll haul it. <laughs> so like what, you've got two of these trailers going and you're able to like rotate them? Yes, exactly. And so it enables you to serve your customers instead of saying, well, hang on, I got this one. I need to get it to the dump, get it emptied and everything. And so with two of them, it makes it so much more easier. And then you're able to increase your income as well. Yeah, so you can constantly have in one going. That's it, that's it, exactly. Wow. So he was telling me just, uh, just a second ago that he's pretty much got both trailers paid off exactly and uh, then it's just pure cash flow cash flow that's what cash flow about. all day baby ba, ba, ba. <laughs> that mailbox money show you right hey you can paypal it venmo, uh, you can it venmo yep. do checks you can do pigeon that's money it. order there's a coin shortage you can bring cash Wells fargo that's it you can pay in in all types of Dollars, ones, tens, hundreds. Exactly. Except all. I don't discriminate. Don't discriminate to the greens. None. <laughs> we know one color. Green lives matter. <laughs> how, many, how many tons of dirt will this thing hold? This thing right here has approximately six tons in it right now. <laughs> That's too cool. You can just like thin it out, can't you? Yeah. yeah. Feather it in there. And you always want to make sure overhead, keep your eyes so that we don't pull any electrical wires. Oh yeah. Like that. Yeah. That wouldn't be good. No. Bad day. It might go boom. Yeah. Always be aware of these guys. Okay, so how did you get the trailer to start off? That's crazy, man. This guy came to me that's in the remodel business that I am also. He said, man, I need a loan. And I was like, well, what do you have for collateral? He said, well, I got a dump trailer. And I was like, okay, so 
we originally um, agreed to a price of about 2000 higher. And then when he brought it to me in person, I was like, nah, I ain't doing that and everything. So we agreed on a price much lower. And, um, and that's how I came into the dump trailer. And so, you know, it's, uh, it's done real well for me. And, uh, you know, I don't know if that guy intended or not, but he started another business for me by doing that. <laughs> that's cool. Wow. Yes. So in seven years, he turned this entire hustle into... It, it's just incredible, man. I mean, you got mulching, you got dumping, um, you got topsoil. The guy's just, you know, hustling every angle with everything. And, you know, they cut down trees, they bring them in, they bag mulch, they do firewood, you know, they do topsoil. It's just incredible. There's very little of the tree that goes to waste. There's wow. no doubt true entrepreneur right there that's what i'm saying another fellow uh dump, dump trailer, trailer yep, right yep, there yep he's got his hustle on oh, that's cool you can get right over the top of it So we just got all the dirt loaded up on to the next one. Loaded and rolling. Loaded and rolling, baby. Dun, dun, dun. Printing them dollars. Printing them dollars. So this is load number two. And you're going to try to do three? No, no. This two and two. is actually load number four. Four. Oh, short shooting him. Yep. At 125 yep. a pop. We're going deep, not cheap. <laughs> Roll on 18 wheeler, but exactly. this, is the, this is the short bus of the 18 wheelers. Exactly. Smoking <laughs> in the band, it ain't got nothing. <laughs> So what I wanted to say is, is that, you know, I don't know if the dump trailer hustle is for you, okay? However, I will say this, whatever you look for is what you're gonna find. And you've gotta have a mindset of looking for opportunities because they exist everywhere if you'll just open your eyes to it, you know? I got that dump trailer, we originally used it for remodeling, I got a construction business, you know, and one day I'm sitting there and I'm looking at it and it's like, you know, that thing hasn't moved in 30 days. It needs to make some money because that's too much money to be sitting there. OK, you're going to have expenses on wheel bearings, on brakes, on tires. So it's got to be making money. And then, boom, that's what made the dump trailer hustle go. I didn't see anybody else doing it. OK, and I'm not the original idea on the dump trailer hustle. Other people are doing it and have started doing it before me. But my biggest thing to you is open your eyes. There's opportunity all over and everything like that. Get a ladder, drive around, clean gutters, you know, knock on people's doors. You want me to clean your gutters and stuff like that. People just don't want to get out and work. And what even more so than that, they don't want to fail. So you've got to embrace the failure because that's where success is right on the other side of that last time that you failed. It's Robert with the No Pay, No Stay Network in the description box. Boom. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted you guys to know that if you're in a sticky situation or you're willing to just kind of change your paradigm, that there's things out here like that that you can just start for little to no money. You just walk around and scrap together some change. You buy something that you might be able to answer somebody else's problem with, such as trash and garbage or anything, dirt, sand, gravel, that you can start a new hustle and make extra money. And that's what I, I just want. hope it helps one person out there that maybe it can open your eyeballs up to a new lifestyle. For me, I just fly by the seat of my pants. And if I wouldn't have started YouTube years ago and listened to all those people out there who told me I couldn't do it, I wouldn't be sitting right here in this office. But I didn't listen to them. I got out there and I just started uploading. And 640 times later, I saw a little success and allowed me to meet people along the way like Robert Biggerstaff and Brant and to keep learning about these new ideas that if you keep coming up with new hustles and you stack them on top of each other, pretty soon you are your own man. You can do whatever you want to do in life. You just got to get out there and solve some problems for some people. And I don't want anybody to think that this is like bragging about money or anything. I'm doing this out there to inspire somebody that if they're in a bad situation, that you can brainstorm an idea, put it in motion, and change your life.
Don't think that you have to go and do a job. Don't think that you have to work for somebody. There is the ability for you to work for yourself and do your own thing and be your own man and stand your own two feet. It can happen for some of us. You just gotta be willing to just go on the journey and see what happens. And in my world, I just call it flying by the seat of my pants. And I hope you guys like this. Comment down below what you think. And if you've got a hustle like this, Put it down below because I love hearing about these hustles that change people's lives. I mean, I've met plumbers and electricians and people in all kinds of trades, contractors that are doing stuff like this and it's awesome. That's what America's all about. Flying by the seat of your pants, come up with cool ideas. I'll see you guys later. Happy birthday to Check this out.